I didn't space out the letters evenly, so to save five hours of work, I'm masking over the flag to respray the whole sky all over again. Here we are using the Testers brand Extreme Lacquer. We already used the darker blue on the top, and we're going to fade in a lighter icy blue, which is this color here. That one's a darker one. Waiting for that to dry, and we'll spray it. That's what happens when you don't space your letters out evenly. Hello ladies and worms. So we have a large area to cover with paint and I went out and bought this HVLP touch up spray gun from Harbor Freight. It comes with a bigger cup. The sure beats having to clean and mix the paint in the airbrush bowl. So I got this one. Before you use it, you gotta clean it out. I'm gonna be using that lacquer thinner. You gotta break it apart. I like this one, it looks sturdy. It's the next grade up from the $15 one. It costs like 30 something bucks. It comes with its filter, tools to take apart the nozzle, and brushes, and I bought this other brushes. Never ever ever use the wires on your airbrush. I always use Q-tips, and I'm gonna invest in a um, one of them cleaners that vibrate. Forgot the name. I'm gonna be using the wife's bin, she's gonna be pissed. And that's we're gonna start off breaking this down. The nice thing about this spray gun is that it came with its own pressure regulator. This one runs at 40 psi. It stated that it's not to exceed 45 psi. And this one goes up to 140. Of course, we'll never get it that high. It'll probably start leaking before that. So I took it apart. Needle, spring. Don't lose anything. Nozzle rubber be very careful when you take the needle out you gotta kind of put pressure on it pull back we're gonna brush all this out with some lacquer thinner as you can see it took on a little yellowish tint that means it's the oils from the factory you don't want that on your paint when you paint so you really gotta clean it thoroughly using that I can't emphasize enough when working with uh, chemicals paint, anything that's toxic, always use your personal protective equipment. Everything is dried up now, we're going to assemble it and shoot some paint. Before I connect this water filter and the air pressure regulator, I am going to put Teflon on all the threaded parts. Teflon tape. So I wrap the tape around the thread, this one tightens clockwise that way so I have to wrap the Teflon tape that way. That way when I tighten it, it doesn't unravel it. It's got to go the same way it tightens. I did the same with the air filter and the air pressure regulator. It should look like this. Alright guys, so this is my setup. Completed installing the filter and the air regulator. And this is my setup. I got a hose connected to a <clears throat> three-way manifold. It has two airbrushes and the airbrush, uh, the compressor over here, and another air regulator. Right now it's set to 35 psi. Everything has air. And to check for leaks, you could submerge it in water. If you see bubbles, it means you got a leak somewhere. We see bubbles coming out right there. The other two seem to be fine. It's a little leak there somewhere. Not too significant is this one. We're going to tighten that one up. Alright, so I went ahead and tightened it up. Oh, there's another leak bubble. Just one every so often shouldn't make a difference I'm gonna tighten it more. that's 
as tight as I'm going to be able to get it <coughs> without having without breaking the plastic. One little bubble every few seconds. <coughs>